Why hello everybody and welcome to The Walking Dead Season 1. I have mentioned in the past I've finally wanted to uh, play Walking Dead after, uh, I forget what was the previous game. I believe Lego, I think. Lego Marvel, I don't know. But this is for the Xbox One, so graphics should be better than 360. But uh, when I do Season 2, I won't be able to play it on the Xbox One unless it goes free or something. I have it only for the 360, so let's get started with standard. Got, I have everything, so eps let's start with episode one, a new day. But before we do, please be sure to leave a like on the video, and let's get started. This game series adapts to the choices you make. This story is tailored to how you play. Telltale Games presents... An association with that company... The Walking Dead. But I really hope you guys enjoy. I hope the subtitles are on, I forgot about it. Just to check. Oh, wait. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay. Settings. Uh, not there. Whoops. Freaking B. Gameplay. Ah, oh, yeah, good thing I checked. Okay. And resume. There. Good thing I checked. <laughs> That's just all I've got to do when driving in a... Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. I didn't register. Uh, does it really matter? Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Why is it not... What the hell? I did subtitles. Or did I not go through? No, I didn't. That's what I had to apply it. Ah. I backed out of it, that's why. Knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the... I didn't Dude. do it. Every time? Every time? Every time. There you go. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. So you've got an opinion? You got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? I you want to know how I see it? I got much of a choice. I got much of a choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh, fuck you. He just didn't want to say it. <laughs> Any of that seem important to you? All of them. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too Damn, much attention. happening in that way. yourself crazy. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. 
and he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Wow. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do so it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came Damn. through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Something's happening. This one's a little bit less depressing Something's and a bit more road. hilarious if I do say so. In the this road. other time. <laughs> How did this event have you in the crash? How? I'm sorry, that's not how cars work. Unless a car couldn't take it and for some reason turned it itself. I don't know. How the hell hitting a car? Like, how hitting a person? That would not even work. But, oh well, that's how the story goes. Great, he's in trouble. From a walker. And now I gotta get up. Oh, I screwed up my leg. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Nice job. I'm not even about to talk to the guy because uh, gotta get out at first. I need to drag myself out that window. I'm get. Is this text gonna stay there forever? Because then I don't want it. Settings. Gameplay. I'm not sure if that's it or not. I don't know. But, as l unless it actually doesn't say, like, if it doesn't keep going with it, then I'm fine with it, but I don't know. Now I gotta get out. Must have hurt. Just gotta move. I'm gonna get this shock and chill. Let's see if I can get the gun. empty. So then fill it. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? Officer? Just snap it off. Shit. Oh, fuck you. You and your imbalance. Why don't you walk away first? Yeah, exactly. I'm watching him as well. Officer. Whoa. Holy shit! 
Just keep moving. What in the hell? Get away from me! Pick up the gun. Load it. How do you... No. Don't make me do this! Don't make me do this! What the hell is up with this? There. Technically, I would just bash his head open with the the back of the uh, shotgun. Hey, you! Help! Go get someone! They're, Out of the frying pan. Shooting! Uh oh. Nice job. How did you screw that up? Hello? Anybody? Nice cars just piled up in the road. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. And sliding door. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Acting as if there's someone in the house. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Let's look at this pool of blood. Answering machine. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. But anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Clementine. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything trip? about Atlanta. If it's an obvious please, poor blood. Please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Hello. Huh? 
Hello. Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is Who this? Is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No. No, I'm not. I'm not. Where are your Where parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are, Where you? are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Whoa, babysitter. <laughs> Gotta run. That slip. Yeah, I got him already. Fuck you. Or you could always not get on top of it. Take that. Take that. And take that. That's all I'm gonna do. He's already dead. There. Adventures and babysitting. Man. Hi there. Did you... I think something else did. I me, think something else I heard her scream did. two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah. That's probably what happened. You've been... All by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. And you're not you complaining know? that oh. you're hungry? Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um. I'd say. We need to find help before it gets dark. Look yeah, for help before it gets it's dark. It's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.